this week's featured comment of the week goes to Mohammed Yunus with his comment hashtag bring back BB hacks. Now, do you want to know what my response to this comment is? Is hashtag no. If you want to be in a chance of being featured in a, a future video, please leave your comments down below in this video and I will pick the best one. For an extra chance to win, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Right, so hey guys, what is going on? My name is Ben and welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about three things that people do on buses that really, really piss me off. Also, shout out to First Busters, your prices are extortionate. Before we get into it, please can you leave a like on the video and be sure to subscribe to the channel. We try to hit 5,000 subscribers by the end of the month. And number three, we have the fact that the bus could be completely empty by, you, by yourself. And you just sat there at the back, just chilling, listening to music. And all of a sudden, this man will get on. It'll be, like, it'll be about 10 o'clock in the morning. This man will get on. And he'll come and he'll sit next to you. You just, you just look at him as if to say, what the fuck are you doing? Can you go sit over there? Sort of thing. But you don't say anything. You're just like, mm, okay. And they start talking to you. And because you've got your earphones in, they'll be like, Oi, oi, why aren't you listening to me? And you'll take your earphones out. You're all right. And they'll start talking to you. just like, yeah. Yeah. But the thing is, is because it's 10 o'clock in the morning, they're already pissed because they've been into Weatherspoons. You know what I mean? They're going to Weatherspoons as soon as it opens. They just get drunk. And you're just like, yeah. Yeah, just, t just talk. Just because you can't be, you don't want to say to them, fuck off, sort of thing. But that's not even the worst bit. The worst bit is the, the fact that they always stink. They don't brush their teeth. They've been getting pissed. They stink of B.O. They stink of wee or weed or all of them combined. And it's just an horrible smell. And you're like... So you'll get a thing of deodorant out your bag. You've got like Lynx Africa or whatever. Or Lynx Black or whichever one it is I've got. You spray your armpit. It's just like, oh, sorry, I've got sweaty armpits. Oh, but oh, I've got asthma. Well, if you had asthma, you shouldn't have come and sat next to me when you stink. I've got two solutions for you. You can either fuck off and move, or have a bath every once in a while or a shower. You know, I'm sure if you, I'm sure if you're homeless, they have community centres. But if you were homeless, why would you be going on a bus? So you're not homeless. And I know you've already spent your benefits in weather spoons, but just go back to your council flat, back at Moss, and bloody have a bath. At number two, we have the fact that they'll get on the bus at the bus station, which is a minute walk away from the second or the first technical stop. And people my age, or roughly my age, they'll get on at the bus station and they'll go to the first bus stop. You see, now to me, that's pure and utter laziness. If it was an 89-year-old cripple old woman, it'd be a different story. But you're a little scrub, a little chav, who probably stole the money for the bus ticket out of his mum's purse. But now, Darren, how is she supposed to buy the good, good stuff? The good, good stuff. The good, good stuff. Or the good, good stuff. And finally, at number one, we have the people who just ring the bell. Not once, not twice, not three times, not even four times, not even five times. They'll just keep pressing it until the driver stops. The driver is a specialised driver, right? As soon as he hears that ding and he sees the light come on and he gets a little thing on his screen, it tells you stop at the next stop. He knows to, to stop at the next bus stop because that's the point of the bell. That's why you ring the bell to get the bus to stop. So you don't need to keep pressing it until he stops. And admittedly, I will admit that it usually is younger children that are with the parents. But why aren't the parents being like, Darren, why are you being such a little shit? And just like letting him just do it. Honestly, the amount of times people have done this and I've just wanted to, oh, you, that, that, it really gets my nerves because you only need to press it once because the driver knows that ding means stop at the next one. But they'll just keep doing it and doing it. Honestly, honestly, you don't realise how angry it actually gets me just because you don't need to do it like that. Just do it once, okay? Once, once, once. It's not hard, is it? And I think, you know, 
judging by that point, saying the parents don't control the kids, I think I'm going to have to do a whole separate video on that. So if you want to see that, leave a like down below. But that is the end of this video. If you did enjoy, be sure to let me know by leaving a big fat like on it. If you want to see more from me, be sure to subscribe. I can't believe how actually angry this recording this has got me, just because it brings back so many memories of just wanting to punch people in the face violently. <sighs> Honestly, I'd, I'd hate to be a bus driver because the amount of shit that they get or people just double ringing the bell or people be like, oh, you've got no change. But getting on at the first stop or getting off at the first stop or whatever. It's just like, it'd be so frustrating that. Literally just, people are horrible to you. I'm horrible to bus drivers because, you know, you'll be waiting there for an hour and you'd just be like, you're supposed to be every 10 minutes, you stupid. You'd just be like, oh, about time. That, that's not rude, but that's just, you are supposed to be every 10 minutes, not every hour. But yeah, thanks for watching this video. I'm Ben. Peace.